the mine windy. was real. It was windy. Yeah. I felt for you because like yeah, it was like a it's your big day. showcase. You had all these people from all the radio totally. weirdos from across it's the country today, come check too. it out. It is windy today. What's yeah, up nuts. with you? I don't know. I bring the wind clearly. But you rocked it on stage. Like it was like a small hurricane though. Yeah, it was always. Nice. <laughs> it was like a natural Beyonce wind machine. So it was. Yeah, it was your hair was flowing. It was. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was totally. awesome. Uh, it was quite the experience because we got to know you a little bit and we got to check out obviously your new song, which is doing amazing. Congrats on Drunk. Thanks. I'm so stoked about it. But like we we learned about you, like you're hilarious. Oh my god. You were super funny. <laughs> Dang, am I really? Yeah, I thought so. I feel like you just like I, I don't know. know you were sarcastic and real. I'm just like I don't care. You know? That's, that's like, kind of what I got. I, I cared so long for like for such a long time about what people thought about me that it's just you gotta just like walk into life and just be like. Bye, haters. Once you stop caring, it's wonderful. I'm still working on it, but I'm, like, trying to, you know, fake it till you make it. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I do every day yeah. here at the radio station. Yeah, exactly. Don't we <laughs> Pretty fitting. Don't yeah, we yeah. Yeah. Do you like the couch? I feel like the couch, this is new to the studio. The couch is a vibe. Do you feel safe? Feel it's a safe, safe place. I feel co more comfortable than being on a stool. Yeah. I hate yeah, stools. It's good for, like, the butt. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's not too... It's cozy. I'm comfy. It's no nice. Pun intended. <laughs> All the uns. And when you were, uh, so we got, we got to know you a little bit. I'm like, she's really funny. She's like real. I'm like, where is she from? And she, you're from Jersey. I'm like, ah, it makes Jersey. sense. Yeah, What's it with Jersey, Jersey girls that are just like, they just don't give a shit. Like, they're just real people. What is, what is it about? What's Is it in the water? What's going on? It's all the, the gym tan laundry <laughs> yeah. and the fist pumping. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't know. I just feel like, the, like everybody is craving sincerity and honesty now more than ever especially with like the world and the political climate and everything that we live in and so i just think if everybody was like a little more honest we would feel more connected to one another and the world's just like an easier place to exist if everybody didn't have put on this just like false persona all the time just like say it like it is right you know? and i feel like that's why your fans and listeners they feel like they know you already like i feel like yeah because no, you give off that that vibe yeah, it just, I mean, like, this whole this whole EP that I wrote really just feels like a page kind of, like, torn from my diary and the most, like, honest I've ever been. And so, like, w why not be that way? I think people want to know when that's coming out, right? Yeah, that's the coming, buzz. It's coming in the spring. It's coming in yeah? soon. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. The whole body work is about one person and one breakup. And, you know, it, each song kind of follows the, like, emotional roller coaster and is, like, a moment in time of, you know, that emotional roller coaster and what it was like to have my heart broken. Basically. What does that feel like? Since you're like an artist, artist, like you are a songwriter, you're a performer, so like you're putting your heart and soul into these songs. What's it like that feeling, knowing that your babies are gonna be like released into the world? Like, that's gotta be some feeling. Yeah, no, it's definitely a feeling. It's it's scary for sure, but you know, and it's it's vulnerable. But I've like I've learned over time that like some of the best things in my life have come from just being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And the best like relationships and experiences have come from like letting my walls down a little bit, and so that's what I really tried to do with this music. It's just it's just super. I want to like represent real female stories from like the female perspective and what it means to be a woman and all the things that we feel like in 2019. And on drunk, so you said it's all about one person, right? This one breakup. Mm -hmm. And I forget. I think you told the story in Miami, but I was a little wine drunk. Like it was open bar that night. Amazing. Was, yeah, it was good times. The story though about that song. He knows. Does he know that he's a? Um, I think they probably know now. Yeah. You know, because it is all. It's on the radio. But like, have you talked to him about it? Um, we saw each other at, we saw each other at a bar recently for the first time in like three years, and I was like, hey, look, I've got this music coming out. I said some things. <laughs> came yada, from a really yada. dark place. Um. And it's just, I mean, it comes with the territory of dating an artist. Yeah, he knew what, was in, what he was in for. I mean, that's just, it's yeah, part of the deal. anybody that dates an artist knows, you know, you're just like signing up for the fact <laughs> that you're going to be forever written about. In sure. Some way. <laughs> yeah. But like, who hasn't felt that way? Like, wanting to be undrunk, want to be, you know, un, unloved with someone, like, forget about 10 years of your life. I totally, do. Yeah, I mean. If I had one of those men in black, like, memory erasers, <laughs> I would totally sign over that. Just erase it. I know, it's just like the worst feeling in the world. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But it's like I can't write songs about it and like have success. Yeah. So that kind of no, sucks. I, <laughs> you just eat. You just, just eat. You just eat. All your feelings. <laughs> yeah. I feel very lucky that I do have that outlet. Have that outlet, to, right. To write about it. Because I'm saying a lot of the things that I probably would never be able to vocalize out loud. Is that something that you always had like in high school and stuff like that? Did you always write? 
you know, about wrote, real life experiences? I wrote, but I just always thought, I was like, oh, I'm not good enough to be a writer, like a real writer, you know, a hit mm. songwriter. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't have what that takes. And so that was like a narrative in my head for a long time. And then I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And then I was just like, if I'm just like writing about what I'm actually feeling, you know, and that's like, that's my truth. And that's a real experience. And right. if somebody else connects with that, then like, that's the whole reason why I do this. It's also free therapy too, which is super nice. It's totally free therapy. That's amazing. It's totally, I, mean, I still part. see a therapist though. Do you? I, yeah, because we need. I did. We need I some would. more. We need some more. Yeah. More than I think it's healthy. Therapy. I feel like people should talk I about it more. We should see a therapist. So yeah. I like, drive on my way to therapy, and I literally stare at the Hollywood sign the entire time that I'm on my way there, and I'm like, that's the reason why I'm on my way to therapy. Is this Hollywood sign? <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. It's a gift yeah. and a curse. Yeah, exactly. At the same time. A and a curse. Is this uh, what you always wanted to do? Is performing and writing and music was this always the dream did you come out the womb just singing it was always the dream i i mean i i was speaking i was singing before i was ever even speaking and my parents put me in vocal lessons when i was five and i didn't really come from a musical household my parents had like two cds it was bob marley and celine dion which is so wow. random um that's random mm -hmm, but i feel you know i like luckily they just like noticed that it was something that i loved so much and they like helped sort of help me foster that creativity from when I was a little kid. So they, they supported it throughout. Yeah, I'm very lucky. That, that is, yeah, that is supportive. awesome. I know everybody um, might not have the same sort of situation with their parents being supportive. Right, you're going to college, you're doing this, life. and right. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm very lucky in that way. Did I say on your Instagram that you were actually a Hannah Montana impersonator? Is that a thing? I was a Did you really? <laughs> I was a Disney princess. Um, That's amazing. Hannah Montana Taylor Swift impersonator for little kids' birthday parties. Wow. For birthday party lines. You have to pay your dues somehow. <laughs> I mean, I did. My boss used at to a real young sing age. Sing at IHOP on International Man Cake Day <laughs> and walk around in full blown princess gear. Wow. No joke. So you can handle anything at this point. We've had a glow up since those days. Well, I bet. So now I'm that's radio. a good 10-year so challenge on so Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah, performing at IHOP. I know. Then... People keep asking me to see the photos of it. And I'm like, I ha I literally have them. I had photo shoots Can you please? in, like, Cinderella, Snow White, <laughs> Ariel. Next to someone's, like, you know, short stack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And they're, like, giving me a dollar to, like, leave. <laughs> like, tipping me a Enough now. Like, next. Oh Thank you. Oh, my God. And you were forced into that. That was just, that was your upbringing. Yeah, I had to, like, just... make money. And I wanted to, like... <laughs> You asked for I, it. Yeah. You asked for this career. I did. I All did. the glory of the IHOP views. performances. Yeah. Totally. And that brings you here on this couch. All that hard work <laughs> for this moment. beautiful couch. You made it. Yeah, here we are. My God. Magical times. So, what's life like now? I mean, you're everywhere. I follow you on Instagram. It doesn't sound creepish. No. I stalk you on Instagram. No. I stalk I mean, you on Instagram my too. Life's on Instagram. <laughs> good I since moved to LA mm -hmm. um, about two years ago and I wrote this whole EP about one person and um, I'm so excited for the music to be out in the world it's coming in the spring so is it finished is it done or are you like yeah, we're just putting some finishing touches on it and it's for the most part like all the songs are there so when do you know it's done that must be like the weirdest thing like I don't know. It's just it's when you listen to it that last like five or six times, and you're like, I don't have any more notes. Right. You know, I'm like a crazy person about like tweaking everything so, to right, the last yeah. minute just because it's like it's my song and I want to sure. exactly how. But I also want it to ha still have that like human, real, you know, quality to it. So there's a fine line of like over editing everything, but it feels done. That's exciting. Yeah. That's awesome. Totally. Good for you. So the yeah. EP coming in the spring. Mm -hmm tour or what's yeah i am uh i literally was looking at my calendar on the way over here i'm very overwhelmed but, like i'm gonna be <laughs> everywhere and i'm so excited about it i haven't gotten to do much traveling so the fact that i'm gonna get to like see all these people and play for the ones that have been there since day one and also all the people that are new to the fam like it's gonna it's a really exciting time and 2019 feels like it's off to like a really good start so yeah you're being sent off into the world tour, yeah. yeah are you gonna go back to jersey at all I'm always going to go back to Visit your roots. my roots. Go eat some Good old... pork roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pork for roll sure. and cheese, if anyone knows what that is. It's such a crazy <laughs> thing. Oh, my God, for sure. Yeah. Um, do you say um, subs or do you say hoagies? I say subs. Hoagies Yeah, because like you're North Jersey. Thing, right? Yeah, it's like that border of like South Jersey and North. Uh, we won't hold it against you. Okay. All right. Like if you we say sub it. around here, like people want to fight you. They'll be like, what? Okay, yeah. so we'll agree to disagree. So are you like <laughs> New York sports or are you Philly? Um, or do you not like sports? Like, if I was watching something, I would, like, I don't know, I'd probably root for, like, whatever 
people we're rooting for in the room. <laughs> so I don't really it's care. Like, go team. Yeah, I'm just, like a, I'm just like a sports fan chameleon. You know that works. Yeah, that's the Switzerland answer. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be new. Go though. sports. Hit a home run or a touchdown. Yeah, invite what me sport to is all this? of your Super Bowl parties. I'll root <laughs> yeah. for your team. Yeah. That's you amazing. You don't even have to hire me. <laughs> Good old Jersey girls. I think I told you like when I was all wine drunk and I was like, my fiance is from Jersey. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's she from again? She's from Cherry Hill. Okay, yeah. So a little more close a little to Philly. More, yeah. Hardcore <laughs> Eagles fan. Amazing. Philly sports. But Jersey girls are the same, though. The same. Yeah, like, love me some Jersey they'll girls. tell you how it is. Totally will. Like, if my joke's not funny, she'll tell it to my face. Yeah, you, like, love us and hate us for it. That's yep. how you gotta be. Pretty much. Hey, Kalina. Hey, how are you? What's up? Well, thank you for making some time uh, for us, 96.5 TVY, here on the couch. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. And uh, congrats on I'm Drunk, uh, requested here at 96.5 TVY, uh, and congrats on that. It's, like, blowing up. Oh, God, thank you. Yeah, guys. I and really appreciate it. We wish you all the luck in 2019. Thank you so awesome. Much. Let's go take a nap. Yeah, <laughs> good job. <laughs>